Hi guys, I'm Danny, and I started the Sunday Gym because I've noticed lately that people tend to go to colleges and universities without actually knowing why they're there. Afterwards, starting jobs are unfulfilling, so I'm interviewing different professionals to see what they have to say and to share their experience and knowledge with you. I hope you enjoy it. Which you put from it, right on. Well then, thank you for joining. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing fine. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Glad to see you doing fine. The podcast will be focused on three main questions. What do you do for a living? How did you get there? And how did you know that this was the way to go? So that's what you do for a living. So easy questions right on. Uh, I do a couple of things for a living right now. I'm a personal trainer and I'm a script writer. So two completely different things. Um, but I somehow uh, managed to to work it out. You said a scriptwriter. What kind of a scriptwriter is this? For theater? Is it for movies? Is it for for music clips? Or what exactly? A good, good question. Mostly television. That's that's that was my focus. Um, I used to study in Germany several years ago. When I came back, I just tried to uh, to to work for a comedy show here in Bulgaria. Really, which for one? one uh, the comedians, Komitsite. Oh right, yeah. yeah. I haven't watched TV for over fifteen years, so honestly, I. I'm well, that was fifteen years ago, so <laughs> you must have seen me. Yeah, <laughs> no, not me. I mean my work. Anyway, um, that was the years when it was a really popular show, uh, more popular than the news. When uh, and when when uh, we're talking about television ratings, that's uh, like very rare thing. So. When I was working there, it was a completely different thing than than uh, what it is today. So yeah, I always had an affinity for comedy and making people laugh. So I just tried it out for one reason or another. They liked me. So 15 years later, I've been working for several se- several uh, TV productions, series, and so on and so forth. Right on. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty solid background. Uh, yeah. The second question is, uh, how did you get there? Now you kind of covered it in a matter when you mentioned that you you always you were always drawn into comedy and stuff like that. You know, I've yeah. noticed something about folks like you that uh, honestly, you can't do it if you don't really love it. You know, IT guys, they can, and even accountants, financial stuff like that, they can sure. hate their job, but in the end of the week, they they see the paycheck. Mm-hmm. And that kind of that kind of boosts it up a little bit. You can do this for years. That I, makes I it tolerable, done. yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you can't really be an artist and hate your job because it, at least I personally I have never seen this in my life. I don't think this exists because me too. It, yeah. When you do it, you kind of put your soul into it. You don't. You don't. Yeah, of course you use my your mind because you have to crack a joke here and there. Uh, yeah, okay. You have to do this uh, thing with words and stuff like that, but. But no, sure. if your soul isn't there, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna be funny. It's not. It, it, oh, absolutely, it absolutely. You, you're right. Absolutely. Well, you're right. You can be an artist and go to, to go to work from eight to five and be an artist. It has to yeah. come out of you. Yeah. If it doesn't, it, it, you write because you cannot not write. Yeah. You paint a picture because you cannot not paint the picture, and you're absolutely absolutely right. Yeah. So yeah, this is why it's it's a tricky question. How did you knew that this was the way to go? But I think you kind of like already knew it was it was really stronger than you because it was basically you. It was the real you. Yes, it was always always a part of me. I had no idea I was going uh, to go in that direction. It just happened, uh, honestly. Luck. I applied. Uh, it was like a month or so from questions, you know, testing, so on and so forth. They picked up five or six people from 3,000 and one of those guys, it was me, and that's it. Complete luck. Uh, nothing I studied for, nothing I prepared for. Um, in the same in the same time, you can always say that I was preparing for it my whole life because yes. I was making people laugh uh, since I was a kid. Yeah, um, and this is but, you know normally this was supposed to be the third question. I put it as a second one because it kind of fits like a glove. It, 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 it you know, 
folks like you don't really and they don't really need to study about it you can you can study about stuff like that here and there but you don't have yeah. to you, you don't really need it if you don't have it you don't have it yeah yeah, yeah. I, I agree completely yeah you you can try and you can be pretty good but you can always see when it comes out of you from the rear you from deep inside uh or it's, it's just like fake you Absolutely. can see it I couldn't yeah. agree more. So this is why I left the, the second question for less. How did you get there? So you said you applied for a job, but did you need any connections with it? Uh, and how did, how did you get the way you are right now? You also mentioned that you're a, a trainer. Uh, what kind yeah. of a trainer? Like, is it like a martial artist, a fitness trainer? What exactly? Uh, good question. Um, the same way I always like people uh, making people laugh. Uh, the same way I was always... Um, connected with the human body movement, the human consciousness, those questions were always and are still um, my favorite questions. Um, how do we move? Uh, what is consciousness? How do we control our body so we can feel better? How can we control stress? Um, what can we use with, uh, how can we, because the human body, basically you live right here. Yeah, and when you th when you think about it, you're living in a, in a in a machine, which is honestly a biological machine. What the body really is, and there is only one option that machine, and you can never live in another one. So this is all you have all your life from day one to the last day. Yeah, couldn't agree okay. more. Yeah, and those were really always the my favorite questions how can i control my body and my consciousness so um, i was going to say make life easier which is not really the the right the right uh, the, the right way to think about it uh i was just i, I was always searching for being in one with my body not just not, I mean, just, I, 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 not just occupying it. Say that this this kind of an awareness thing, and it's called uh, to to put your mind where your body is, which mean which means in the yeah. present, the current moment, N not what will happen in the future, not sure. what happened in the past. So that what you're talking, I assume what you're talking is uh, keep your mind where your body is in the now. And uh, actually, sure. this is this is a pretty good technique. I'm using it because you know people tend to to spread their thoughts and this this is a killer and uh, yeah. actually this is one of the reasons i created the channel and, and and one of the reasons i'm doing all of those interviews over time is that if you notice uh maybe not in show business but i mean probably show business too people tend to yeah. go to colleges universities jumping from one place to another not really yeah. knowing themselves and it's crazy as hell and uh, i'm sure you've seen those people too where they're like hating the job and honestly you cannot be a happy person if you hate what you're doing nine hours i'm sorry i'm sorry to say it it, it doesn't matter if you're a doctor or gardener or whatever most people don't like their jobs and it's really yes. sad honestly honestly yeah and this is why i did this because i've had so many examples right now that you know people can see it and you know sometimes you're watching something you look at and you're like yeah actually that's me and it's, it's yeah, remarkable yeah. because uh, this is an issue that's not only here for Europe. I, I, I'm having folks from everywhere. So yeah. uh, this is why I'm doing it to collect the examples. You're a pretty good example that you knew about this when you were young. So you were kind of like fascinated at sports because that's good because you, you kind of have to wear this this body like as you said from day one to the end there's no other there is no other home for you you will always be inside this body so the better you can use it everything you do from picking up a, a cup of water to if you're a neurosurgeon the better you control your body and the better your health is everything is easier and you can be better at it I mean, when you said that there's no other option, in all fairness, Elon Musk is working on it. Don't pressure the guy. He, he... I agree. I agree. I'm waiting for it, actually. <laughs> I have. It's possible to happen in our lifetime, and it's really amazing just to think about it. Now I'm keeping the old suit. I'm, yeah. I'm definitely not jumping anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, not uh, too fast anyway. and, and as I was saying, uh, definitely you're yep. a good example of well for that. So, um, in case you can give one advice to the people who are watching, what will it be? 
when they're losing their time, when they're losing in their thoughts, when and and you can see that, and you can see this, what kind of advice you would give them? Well, honestly, nowadays it's much harder. Social hmm. media distractions everywhere, easy dopamine everywhere, uh, easy food everywhere. It's very hard for the today's generation, honestly. Um, one thing I, I always think, just never, ever, ever give up. Whatever you do, if you start it, finish it. Might be the worst thing you've ever done, but if you, if you start it, you finish it. You learn a lot about yourself. You learn about working. You learn about expand, expanding energy and so on and so forth. Uh, just don't give up. If you start something, finish it. If you hate it, find another thing, start it. Finish that thing. Sooner or later, you 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 see a thing, you find a thing that you like. Uh, I'm not speaking from uh, from a place where I'm perfectly happy and I do exactly what I want to do. But you never give up, and you always finish what you start. That that's how you find yourself, and that's how you see who you are. Because we spend a lot of time, most of our lives, often without knowing who we are and what we can do and what can, what we're capable of. I couldn't agree more. I actually had uh, a British author on the program, uh, Jamie Dixon, I think it was his name. And that, that was yep. pretty good advice when he said, open as many doors as possible, just see what's in there. So I'm glad Completely to see agree. you are alive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't agree more. With that said, much appreciated and thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Keep Bye. going. Bye. Guys, I hope this one was useful. Please follow the channel on YouTube, Rumble, Gap, Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. Ring the bell and all the good stuff. Have a nice week ahead and I'll see you next Sunday.